Let's see what happens in the case of complements, using the example of cell phones and airtime. In diagram A, we've got the demand curve for cell phones, and in diagram B, the demand curve for airtime vouchers. Let's see what happens if the price of cell phones drops from, say, 450 to 250 rand. As the price of cell phones drops, the quantity demanded increases, and we get a downward movement along the demand curve for cell phones. So, households now buy more cell phones. How will this affect the demand for airtime? Well, as more cell phones are being used, more airtime is required, and the demand for airtime increases. At each price, the demand for airtime is now greater than before, and the demand curve for airtime shifts to the right. And what can we conclude from this? As the price of one complementary good decreases, the demand for the other rises. So again, a movement along one demand curve causes a shift of the other demand curve.